any ideas on what we can do? I'm not sure yet. We could think of something later. Hello Mustangs, my name is Jimmy Davis and today we'll be reporting on a crime committed at 8 o'clock this morning. This may be one of the most heinous crimes in American history. Today we're here with the lead detective Roberto. Roberto, what do you know so far about these crimes? You know, we're still working on finding out who did this, but I promise you we will find them. So there you have it. We know absolutely nothing. Past week, there's been a vast majority of crimes, but this has to be the worst of all. And it's our duty to keep these halls safe. I think we may have a suspect. Tell me what you got, right? I think it may be the suspect's twin brother, Oswald. I'll look into it. Now go fetch me some sugar. Time to get evidence. Okay, what do you see? So, what we got, Chief? These crimes are well thought of, but not well thought of. Who knows who this sick man could be? Hey, I'm walking in!
old one's gone, who's gonna be the new group leader? Since Evan died, we could not decide on the group leader when everyone's heated. Well, we all wanna be group leader, it looks like, so. Looks like we're gonna have to compete for it. For real, I'm not gonna lie to you. I can feel the tension around the table, and it's getting kinda heated. I think we should have no group leader to respect Evan. I believe that in honor of Evan, we should not select a new group leader and keep it neutral. Personally, I believe I should be a group leader. Personally, I think I have the qualities to be a group leader. Out of everybody, I'm probably the best group leader. I got the alpha mentality. I got the best Riz. W Riz. I'm the best Hooper. I got plenty more qualities, many to discover. I mean, I am quick. Just like Hercules, I am very strong. I got the bread needed for the drip, you feel me? Of course, I got the moves for the ladies, man. Those are my main qualities. But of course, I got more. If a group leader was necessary for any group, it would always be me. I am the sneakiest. I am the best gamer. I got the best grades. I'm the best at everything too, by the way. I do have the brains and I do play football. And I always got the gum. Have you ever thought about how you would prefer to die? I always assumed I would die of old age. I dreamed I would be surrounded by my loved ones, but I didn't get that luxury. When I woke up this morning, a feeling of dread filled my stomach, and an uneasy unfe feeling that something would go wrong. Sometimes, I like to think that it's an otherworldly figure looking down upon me. Obviously, this isn't happening, but you get the gist of it. Being murdered wasn't on one of the 372 things on my to-do list today. Then again, whose list is it actually on? This is Hazel McAllister, my best friend. We've known each other since kindergarten. She told me she liked the unicorn on my shirt, and we've been inseparable ever since. She has a bit of a temper, but that's okay. That's just who she is. Hazel isn't the smartest academically, but she's definitely witty. The only thing about her that rubs me the wrong way is she is a known cheater. Whether it's card games or tests, she plays by her own rules. This is Scarlett Williams. We met each other in the fourth grade when she moved here from Texas. Our shared love of fashion instantly made us click. She is our two-time state champs lacrosse team's best defender. This hereby makes her one of, if not the most athletic person in our school. She has the worst punctuality known to mankind. Legend has it she was late to her own sweet 16 party. Some say she was making entrance, others say she slept in late. Either way, she wasn't there. Walking down the hallway now is Violet Patterson. She is one of the kindest people I have ever met. Once when we were in the seventh grade, I had the flu and she brought me all of my homework. Now this may not seem like the greatest gift in the world, but she knows how much I appreciate hard work and finishing my tasks. She doesn't often say what she is thinking, but her actions definitely speak louder than her words, even though her words aren't usually heard. When they are, it's often a lie. Now I'm not saying she is a pathological liar, but she's not the most truthful person on this planet. And last, but most definitely not the least, me, Sage Atkinson. I'm the top contender for valedictorian, and I had a near-perfect score on the SAT. I've never received a below a 99 on my report card in my life. Unless you count the 92 I received in 7th grade English, but I just believe the teacher was out for my success. I'm president of our debate and math teams. I'm sure you could already tell, but I can argue my points for hours on end. No one can prove me wrong. Try. I dare you. I'm the founder of my school's Woman in the Environment Club, properly named the Green Girls. Some say I'm perfect, but that's hardly true. Something being perfect is entirely impossible. Nothing can be flawless. Though, sometimes it is hard for me to find one within myself. I'm sure something is there, just hidden beneath the surface. Where is it? I can't find it. Mr. Magnuson guaranteed that this would be in the notes. Girl, does it look like I know? I appreciate the help, Hazel. Of course, anytime. <laughs> Alright, guys. No, uh, no, we're all, calm down. No, we're all excited for this test. 
Oh, Hazel, you've had a week to prepare for this. All right, good luck, everyone. Eyes on your own computer. Mr. Magnuson, I can't believe you just did that to me. What is your problem? You know I hold my academic integrity to the highest degree. You know I want to get into Stanford. I know, but I thought you would have valued our friendship a bit more. I mean, it was one test, Sage. Come on. And one test turns into two, and two turns into four. When would it end? You know what? I can't be with you right now. Just leave me alone! It's not that you care about your future anyways. I don't need you dragging me down. I said, leave me alone! What do you mean, young man? What's this? Yo, Mr. Gray, do you know why they didn't come? No, James, I don't know why. I heard they were selling gum for like $4 a pack, like in the most of the cafeteria, and that's why I got banned. Really? That's interesting. All right, well, I'll see you later, I guess. specify which you want to go to. I've been to almost every single one. Whatever. I, I've thought a lot about what you said about the gum thing. The guy who's selling the gum? Yeah, I think we should team up. I'll get all the gum, all the flavors. Yeah, and you'll be selling the gum for five dollars a pop. I'm confused with all this, Mr. Gray. What do you mean, James? I mean, like, are you a 4.0 GPA student wanting to sell gum? If you call off that, you're gonna get attention. Yeah, but the risk is worth the reward. What's this? Really, James? Anybody about the gum? What? Oh, what the? Did you tell anybody that we were starting this business? No, how do people know? I don't know, James. Someone just texted me about it. Are you sure you didn't tell anybody? Yes, I'm sure. I'm not dumb. All right, bring the gum tomorrow then. I'm 
hosting a party this weekend. You guys are all invited. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Of course I'm coming. I'll bring the snacks. Wow, wow. absolutely. I'll come. I'll Maybe make a playlist and bring a speaker, I guess. And I'll bring the decorations. Perfect. I'm so excited. Alright, well, we have to get to class. We'll see you guys later. See ya! Bye! Alright, let's start working on our project. Good idea. I think this looks great. Um, who made this? Me and Winston made it in class. No, it looks disgusting. It needs redone. I'm done. I think it looks fine. I'll go get a teacher to have them grade us. We're done. Let me see what you guys came up with. I think it looks really good, guys. I really do. Great job, guys. You did really well. Uh, I have to go to a meeting. I'll see you guys in class later. on Friday? Five. Okay, just send me a copy of the project that we did earlier. Thank you. All right, guys, I have to go catch my bus. Yeah. I don't even want to go to this stupid party. today I feel like it tasted like a bit off you know yeah the fries definitely tasted a bit weird today Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You know what class Rome's in? No, but knowing him, he's probably in the hall somewhere. Oh, yeah, I'm just going
Yeah, Kane, have you seen Rome? Yeah, I seen him. He he has to go to the bathroom in my math class. Oh, that's really weird. He should be here today. Maybe he's in the office. I don't know. Well, he better be here tomorrow. We have an important project with him. Yeah, Logan, you got to run it in your own yesterday? Yeah, I heard. I hope you don't find out it's us. Was Roman in your math class today? No, there's a rumor going around that he's missing. Wow, the Mustang tears are so cool. I know. I just want to be just like them. Oh, me too. Don't we all? Hey guys, let's make a promise that we will become Mustang tears. I agree. Hands in the middle and say, I promise. We are eligible to become Mustang Tears. I know. I'm so excited. Who are they? I don't know, but they look pretty bad. I heard they were nice people. They just look angry. You talking about us? No, we weren't talking about you guys. You better not. You know who you're messing with. I don't know, but they're going to be a big problem when we become Mustang team. Let's go! Come with me. Congratulations! You are officially Mustang Tears. Welcome to the headquarters. No way. This is so cool. I'm taking oath to protect Club Senior High. Repeat after me. I swear. I swear. To protect Club. To protect Club. And keep it safe forever as long as you live. And keep, keep it safe forever as long as I live. Line up and shake my hand. Thank you! We did it, guys! Let's protect the school! I 
I lose me must in tears. Kind of destroyed him. The years to 2030, the city streets were becoming less and less safe, but an elite group of students, the Palmo Loco crew, have decided to take matters into their own hands. I'm Ko, the co-leader of the group. I'm Ma, the broken heart man. I'm Pa, the big boy that takes the hits. I'm Lo, and I'm the leader. And we are the Palmo Loco crew. Can you believe those kids? That's just life, man. I wonder where they went. I hope they come back. What did you say? <sighs> Nothing. I'll tell you what, boys. We'll clean this place up and make a difference. That's right. We're not going to stop until the Pommel Local Crew has these streets safe again. Bring it in, boys. Oh, I'm getting an alert. They're back. They're back. We gotta get out of here. We got out of here. Oh man. What's wrong? Nothing. I feel like this year's gonna be a good year. Oh my gosh, there's Lauren. Oh gosh, here we go again. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to finally see you. How's your summer in Florida? It was great. Yeah, honestly, I can't complain. It's summer. Oh, here, let me help you. Jeez, bad day, I guess. Guys, wait up. What were you doing? Oh, wait, I have to get to class. Yeah. 
Have you guys seen Kate? Our mom wants us home. I'm sure she walked out already with Lauren. Yeah, true. Gosh, she annoys me. Never tells me where she's going. All right, see you guys tomorrow.